Hello and welcome back to Airtech Hunting. I'm here at Patriot Outdoors in South Africa and I've got the brand new FX Impact M3 with me. It's going to be an exciting episode, so stay tuned. Now before we take this gun out for a hunt, we have to talk about it first. This Mark III is a massive leap forward from the Mark II and a massive leap in the A-gun industry. So let's start from the back of the gun and move our way forward. So at the back, we've got the same buttstock design as the Mark II. And that has been kept like that for a reason. It's so that you can still use your custom buttstocks like your Sabre Tacticals and PR systems on here. Moving on to the valving system and the transfer port. The valving system has been improved and enlarged to allow for better airflow to give you more power. And the transfer port that sits on the barrel itself, you will now find two transfer ports on your barrel, one on top and one at the bottom. You'll find a smaller one for pellets and then you'll find a dual transfer port for slugs. And you can easily change between the two by removing your barrel, turning it 180 degrees and putting it back in. There's nice slots there that can index it for you as well. And so if you want to shoot pellets, you just turn a barrel one way, you want to shoot slugs, flip it 180 degrees and you've got your dual transfer ports and off you go. Next up is the new massive Power Plenum 720 with 72 cc of volume. This will come in handy when you shoot those really heavy slugs. Next up is the new fully redesigned hammer spring system. You now have a 16 step macro adjuster and a new toolless micro adjuster. There are also nice markings on there so you can now record your tune as well. When we move up from there, we'll now find an ambidextrous cocking lever system. You can now easily swap your cocking lever from left to right. The cocking lever itself has also been shortened, so you've got a shorter stroke and there's a bigger handle on there to grab it easier for when you're doing speed shooting. It should greatly improve how fast you can shoot with this gun. Further up, we'll find the Picatinny rail that now has a 20 MOA building tilt. So no longer do you need to use those adjustable rings anymore. Moving down from there, you'll find the new enlarged valve adjuster that now has more volume, which means more valve travel. This greatly improves power as well. Moving down to the feature that everyone has predicted in the forums for the new impact. Yes, this is a dual regulated gun. You can barely see it, but in between the block and the bottle sits the regulator. You can easily access this regulator by just unscrewing your bottle. You can then adjust it. And this regulator also now has its own gauge, so you can see what your first stage regulator pressure is. You still have your full gauge or your bottle uh, pressure gauge on the other side as well. And next to that regulator now sits as standard a 580cc carbon fiber bottle. Because this is a high power impact, you'll need all that air. Now moving on to the barrel. The barrel is exactly the same as the previous impacts. It's still the superior liners. You still have your half unit thread at the front to put your favorite silencer on. Same shot. In fact, you can still use your old impact barrels on the new impact as well. When you buy this gun, it will be configured to shoot pellets. That's how they come out standard from the factory. That means low regulator pressure. I think it's 60 or 70 bar. You'll have a pellet probe and you'll have the normal superior liner. You can also increase the power of the Impact M3 by getting your dealer to install the FX slug kit or the power tune kit in here. That includes an adjustable slug probe, which you can adjust the seating depth on the, on the slug to just hone in on that accuracy for you. There's also a softer valve return spring, which means your valve will stay open for longer, letting more air through behind that heavy slug, so that it can propel it down the barrel faster and two spaces that goes in between your hammer spring and your hammer which stiffens up your hammer tension as well also adding a lot more power obviously if you do that you have to go for the superior heavy liner as well with a faster twist rate so you can stabilize those heavy slugs that is all the improvements on the fx impact m3 it's a lot of stuff and as i said a massive leap forward but it's not going to stop there fx is already working on accessories for this gun that your eyes won't believe so stay tuned in the next two to three months there's awesome stuff coming out for this gun that's going to improve it even more 
Um, so when you buy this gun, it's a good base investment because from there you're going to have so many more options to play with in the future. But let's take this gun out for a hunt. I'm um, going to end this part of the video and jump right into the hunt. See you now. So, yeah, this is going to be an interesting one. Very thick fog this morning. Not going to be easy to film in this and no rangefinder will work. But I'll push through. Hopefully the fog will lift soon when the sun comes out. Yeah, this is pretty thick stuff. The conditions weren't improving when I arrived on the farm. The fog was still very thick and visibility was very limited. But knowing Cape Town, I knew that this fog was going to burn away soon. So I got the M3 ready and went straight to work. That is loud. Oh yeah, it's very close. I can't really see past 30 meters or about 30 yards. So yeah, it sucks a bit, especially through the scope, it just completely, your sight completely disappears. Everything was getting soaking wet, but conditions started to improve and I could reach out a little further. There was no way for the rangefinder to work, so I had to go by gut feel. <laughs> Hmm, cliffhanger, but he's down, 93 meters. If you wonder how I knew each range, well, I just referenced my scope tape after each shot. I've got the slug kit installed on my M3 and tuned to shoot 40 grain Patriot slugs at 935 feet per second. The first stage regulator is just under 200 bar and the second stage regulator on 155 bar. The macro adjuster is on step 16 and the micro adjuster is on 3.5. And the valve is all the way open. This power is achieved without any aftermarket custom work. <laughs> Eating them pretty consistently down there. Awesome. There's another one. <laughs> In the back. I'm trying to use the rangefinder every now and again, but it's still just giving me like 28 meters. So what happens is the laser is bouncing off the, the micro water droplets in the fog and yeah, it's not penetrating far. <laughs> so they are pretty useless when it's foggy. You might have noticed that I'm using a custom cover on my magazine. This is purely to fit the long 40 grain Patriot slugs in there. The STL file for this 3D print is down in the description as usual. Got him. I completely estimated that shot. So I just held it under, I kept my turret where it was, but I knew it was a little bit closer. So for that you just hold a little under. I think I barely got him on the head or something, I'm not sure, but he is down. <laughs> got a pigeon in the head, 100 meters exactly. Yeah, so he's flapping around, typical headshot wound. Solid. Visibility has improved. I can see to about 120 yards now, but this thing is still useless. It's still giving me 28 meters. Doesn't matter where I range. Yeah, so it's pretty thick still. <laughs> Got him through the twigs. Another pigeon. Yeah, this is gonna be a guess. <laughs> of 
caught it. I estimated this shot to be 100 meters, but it was more like 120 meters and the reason why it hit so low. This was a very unlucky bird. <laughs> 120 meters, that is dead. <laughs> the shot was more or less in line with the previous shot, so it wasn't too difficult to estimate the range. Ooh. 116 meters. Yeah, this time I can give you the exact range because the rangefinder is working now. Yeah, that was a solid shot. It looks like luck wasn't on my side today. Just as things started to clear up, the farmer arrived and started working in the area. This means I had to hurry up before all the farm workers arrive as well. <laughs> Straight on. Got him. <laughs> Big explosion. <laughs> He's dead. Well, that is it from me and the Impact M3. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please like this video. Also remember to hit subscribe. It would really help me out. And then I will see you next time. Cheers.